The Indian markets have been flush with liquidity from foreign and domestic investors. We caught up with two of the largest exchanges in the country. At a minimum, I think we should think about providing at least an index hedging mechanism hmm. to domestic investors hmm. into uh, later in the evening or at night. I mean, the commodity markets remain open till 11.30 anyway. Mm. So even if you were to provide an index edge, I'm not saying the entire market needs to be kept open as a start. I don't think there is any precedent to that either. <coughs> Internationally, you don't have cash markets open for 20 hours. Yeah. But uh, you have to be able to provide some hedging mechanism to domestic investors. It can't be that foreign investors are able to hedge event risk. Uh, the other uh, question I wanted to ask is, you've already said that you know the NSE IPO will happen once uh, SEBI's uh, co-location issue is sorted out. Uh, how long would it take? Once, the, once this issue is closed, how long would it take for the IPO to go through? See, as I've said before, we need to refile the DRHP. Yeah. Right? That, that will only be done once we have some clarity and visibility surrounding what we're going to be doing with this issue. Hmm. Um, once we file the DRHP, then you know the timeline. I mean, SEBI will take a month to exactly. review it, etc., yeah, etc. Yeah. It also has to be done off the right set of numbers. Hmm. So the numbers have to be current. So depending on when this issue gets resolved, we'll have to then look at when the audited numbers for that particular period or the quarter or whenever the logical um, point is that we get audited numbers done, that will have to play a role in the timing. Yeah. I haven't heard yeah. back from SEBI on, uh, on the timeline. They are still awaiting certain information. They are conducting some um, investigation and uh, analysis. So once, uh, once they have all that information, I'm sure they'll come back with what their approach will be. We have to figure out what does the investor uh, need. They require what, what, what would you want, Ashish? 5, 7, 11, 30? For me, uh, ultimately, everything has to be on the same uh, framework, right? So if hmm. something is traded till 11.30, why not? If something okay. is traded till 5.30, hmm. then everyone has to come down to 5.30. Well, when you have two of the biggest stock exchanges in the country, why not get the biggest commodity exchange as well? My colleague Yash Jain spoke to the MD and CEO of MCX. Almost everybody who participated on day one continues to participate. Uh, in terms of the ADT, we are somewhere in the range of 150 crores on the notional. Uh, and that's the number where uh, we believe it's good progress. Uh, would we have liked more? Definitely. Uh, but uh, what did we look at as our target? I think we would love to touch uh, somewhere about two, two and a half times that over the next three months. So as far as the taxation element is concerned in conversion of these options into futures, there is no resolution there as of yet. Uh, what could be a possible resolution or an effective mechanism according to you which you would want the market regulator to look at and how soon do you expect this particular aspect to be addressed? So one, I think uh, this is not a question of uh, the market regulator. Uh, as we know, CTT is part of uh, the overall uh, fiscal policy and therefore, A, in terms of timeline, if any change was to happen, it can only happen as part of the budget.